How's it going everybody? I'm Daniel, you're watching Denimal Tech, and today I'm going to show you something extremely useful and very easy but that a lot of people don't know. And that is how to transfer photos from your iPhone to your Mac. Okay, a lot of people think that it's complicated, you need to use iTunes or download uh, an external software or something like that. But no, everything you need is already in place. You don't need to download anything in the process is very easy. And you may be asking yourself, why would you want to transfer photos from your iPhone to your Mac? And reason number one is storage. For example, I have over 7,000 photos on my iPhone. And even though I keep a lot of those photos in iCloud, I have to pay extra for that iCloud storage. And even for security reasons, maybe you don't want to leave all your, you don't want to put all your photos in the cloud because it could be hacked, you never know. Or maybe you just want to have it like in a flash, in a hard drive like this one, a hard drive, a flash drive, a CD, whatever, okay? Or maybe just leave it on your computer, but you want to have a physical copy of your files, okay? So this process is for all of those options. And so let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, you don't need to worry if your Mac is old or new, if it's updated or outdated, because this process works on any Mac running any macOS version, so don't worry about that. Now let's open the software we are gonna use to transfer photos from our iPhone to our Mac. Okay, and as I mentioned, you don't need to download anything because we are gonna use Image Capture, which is a software that is pre-downloaded on any and all Macs. So. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. It is right here inside the other folder, okay? So tap here, image capture, that's how it looks. You can also try and go command space and uh, in, the spotlight, in the spotlight search go for image capture or maybe go to your finder and go to applications and find it. There are many, many ways to find it. But before we go and connect our iPhone to our Mac, we're gonna need to go to settings and change one little thing. So go to settings, scroll all the way down to photos right here and scroll all the way down as well when, and when you see transfer to Mac or PC go to keep originals okay that's the only way it's gonna work now to connect our iPhone to our Mac we are obviously gonna use the cable okay the Apple cable and keep in mind to use the original cable it's just much better and it avoid errors so connect on your iPhone and connect on your Mac. As you guys can see, my photos have already loaded. Don't worry if you got messages like trust this device, uh, trust this computer, you just trust. If you're asked to put your passcode, put your passcode. Don't worry about any of those security features. Now that we're here, we can see that image capture provides us with a lot of information. So the photos, of course, which I've blurred for security purposes, uh, the name, the kind, if it's a movie or a, a photo, uh, the date, the file size, uh, the aperture, you can see the lens, you can see the model of the iPhone you took the photo from, so that's pretty nice. Now the transferring process is very easy. We've got right here the option import to, so we select the destination, it's going to go for desktop, uh, and we can import a selected photo, for example, I'm going to import uh, those, this photo, for example, so import or you can import all. So it's gonna import all the photos that are on your iPhone right now. So you click import, it's gonna import, very easy. Another very cool thing is that you can just, from this spot, go ahead and delete it. Okay, so you can delete. So it's saying it's gonna delete from your phone, so that's pretty cool, because let's say you've got a lot of photos, okay, and then you just select, uh, for example, 100, and then you transfer 100, and then delete the 100, and then you clear space on your storage on your iPhone. Uh, you, may be asking, you, you may be asking yourself, why I only have 95 photos? So I said I've got 7,000, why I only have uh, 95? And that's because pretty much all my photos are in iCloud, as I mentioned. So all my photos are in the cloud. So for that reason, it cannot access those photos because it is only accessing the photos that are inside my iPhone, okay? So if you wanna download all the photos on your phone, you have to first of all uh, download on your iPhone, so from iCloud to iPhone, okay? You, you download from iCloud to this physical storage. And as soon as it's right here, you can do this process, okay? So keep in mind that in this specific situation, you're gonna have to do two processes. But for this video, I'm only gonna show you transfer from this to this, okay? 
Yep, so that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button down below anywhere on your screen. That's the sun right there. Uh, if you also enjoyed this video and you want to see more content from Daniel Baltech, please make sure to hit on my face right here. You will automatically become my subscriber and also click on this video right there that I'm pretty sure you are going to love. So that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.